You'll see only on 13 Action News, a man shooting at police during an intense chase down the Las Vegas Strip, and you can watch those pedestrians dive for cover. Tonight, our very first look at the suspect, 23-year-old Lawrence Manriquez. He's facing multiple charges, including robbery with a deadly weapon. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins has video of the wild events and lets visitors tell us what happened in their own words. The first thing you see in the video is a police car tailing an SUV. Just as they pass out of frame, the people on the sidewalk duck and cover. That's because the suspect has just fired at police. He stuck his head and his arm out the window. He almost lost it a little bit. He shot, I believe, two rounds. One of them struck my car. Okay, copy. Uh, you're not injured, correct? Negative, no, no injuries on me. Minutes later, another police car drives by. This time, the siren is on. Right after this, the suspect crashed his car and ran into the wind. One woman barely had time to jump out of the way. I just heard the tires screeching and I ran out the way and it just slammed into the brick. I ain't seen nobody in there. Police spread out to find this guy, bringing out the helicopter and the canines. They cornered him at the Encore, more than a mile from where this all started. This is where those shots were fired, but this is just one of the crime scenes. It's also one of the closest places to one of Metro's area commands. There's a command center right down the street, but, you know, it doesn't matter on this road. This used to be a bad neighborhood, and it still kind of is. Of all the crime scenes, this is the first one. The suspect started the whole spree by robbing the 7-Eleven at gunpoint. All the crime tape meant several streets were closed for hours this morning, even part of the strip, but no officers were hurt. Parker Collins, 13 Action News. 13 Action News has some.